Evans here, and today we're going to go over the goblet squat. You should have worked through my previous two videos, which was the hip flexor stretch and how to get deeper in your squat. If you've worked through those, this will be a breeze. So for the goblet squat, what I want you to do is we're going to bring the kettlebell up to chest high. So you're going to stick your thumbs through the handle, swing it back, and bring it up. When you're here, I want you to focus on keeping your chest out, shoulders down, and brace your abs. And then we're going to go down, put our elbows on the inside of our knees. Focus on keeping your abs tight, and then we're going to want to roll around, trying to open up space in our hips. As you do, you'll feel yourself sink a little bit deeper. Set that down and stand up. Now shake off any tension in between sets. Now, if you find yourself going down and you're just really far forward, what I want you to do is work yourself around and then actively try to pull your hips underneath you. All the way down until you get as deep as possible. So, what we'll do is we'll try to get Onyx out of the way first. And she won't listen. Okay, heads up. We're going to do another goblet squat. And I'll demonstrate if you can't get all the way down. So, elbows on the inside of the knees. We'll work ourselves around. And then pull. Keeping the chest out. Straight spine. Pull a little deeper. And keep working around. Again, please move. So, if you work through that a few times, you should be comfortable pulling your hips all the way underneath until you get your hamstrings almost touching your calf. Now, once you've mastered that, it may take a few more sets than just two. That's fine. Just work at your own pace. You're going to want to bring the kettlebell up, and we'll do some goblet squats. So, chest out, head tall, abs braced, come down, pause, come up quick. Breath of air in, abs braced, breathe out on the way up. So, that's all you need to know on the goblet squat.